Hello everybody and welcome back to Keep It Real. Finally. <laughs> I know it's been a little while. Uh, this is episode 56 if my memory serves me correctly. And I'm pretty sure I know what to do. We've got to get the new tractor. We've actually got to try it the first time. We've not even driven it yet. And we've got to get right down to that bottom field. We've got to get the wheat field uh, fertilized with liquid fertilizer. So rather than taking the Unimog, yeah. Let's go for a little walk to the shop. So I do hope everyone is well anyway. Apologies, I've not kind of, well I've just not had the time. I've just not had the time to get the content created. Can I fit through here? No, I'm, I'm too chunky. Oh, I nearly made it. A bit like real life, too chunky. Yeah, it, it's been quite quite busy. Life's just busy, isn't it, sometimes. My youngest has been poorly, so my last two days off haven't been days off. It's been hard work. Right, so. Well, we'll do the usual. Let's just check in the shop, see if there's any bargains. I don't really think today we're at a point where we want to be spending money on anything in particular. I mean, again, barley seeds, that seed add-on mod doesn't really work anyway. So that's kind of pointless. And there's not really much going on here. No, certainly uh, a little bit away from that. I guess you could say at some point we need to focus on getting our harvester because we're actually going to have some real arable crop to to harvest soon that's going to be amazing that's going to be a strange feeling right we need to get an ibc of wow i forget i don't do this very often i forget how expensive it is look at that um that's half of our money solid we don't want that are there any better versions better options of these various mods you've got on you never know it doesn't look like it though, does it? Oh my, there is a lot. Okay. So, what is that? No idea. So, we're going to have to just do it. We're going to have to buy a... I mean, it is at least a 2,000 litre IVC. So, yeah. It's not too bad. I don't think we're going to use that much. I hope not. But yeah. So, before we even start, £3,200 already <laughs> right at the beginning of the episode but what can you do what can you do right wonderful we might as well go out the back door because the tractor is already there if i remember correctly i think i attached all the attachments ready to go as well didn't i yeah and i'm i'm hopeful that i put the narrow tires on i imagine i would they don't look very narrow but that's just kind of one of the things with this mod, I guess, isn't it? Right, so we're going to have to do this a slightly unrealistic way. Again, this is limitations of the game. It is only a game after all. So we'll just have to reverse up to this. And, I don't know, maybe uh, pretend there's like a, there's a make-believe hose going between the two there. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so I'm pretty sure the field which we created and planted would be fine. I think that was showing a good figure. And they tend to really, because when you're, you're plowing fresh grass and creating a field, you tend to have a good kind of nitrogen level naturally anyway. So we're not going to worry about that one. We're going to go straight down to the wheat field. Hopefully it won't take too long. I, I underestimated how slow this tractor was going to be, didn't I? Let's raise that as well. Travel position. There we go. Oh. I just had a feeling he was going to walk in front of me then. Okay. Let's go. You are nearly here. Oh, did you see that? That was a close one. Nearly a collision. I have been watching a couple of videos actually talking about collisions. Police simulator. I think they've done a... Kind of a DLC, I guess, like a like an update, like a patrol type thing. Now, I've never played the game, but I've watched it for a little while, and it does look quite fun. What I like about it is it's, well, it's a simulator, isn't it? It, it kind of simulates how it would be to be a police officer, I guess, in America. It's quite a lot of things are, are different to what I'm used to over here. Not that I have to deal with the police very much, of course, because, you know, I'm just, I'm just a lovely person. But I did do a little bit of police work before as a as a special police officer is what they call it 
and uh, yeah, it is very different. But I am tempted. As one of those, you know, I do those little little flutters of random games once in a while, don't they? And they don't tend to get a lot of views. So I just play a couple, and then if I'm kind of bored in the evening and I'm not really feeling up to doing the talk inside of it, I play them. But I might just do a couple. Um, right, there's a PTO there. But there's no hoses. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Right, how quick is this going to go down? Not too bad. Not too bad. Of course, we are in an old rubbish piece of equipment, so I can't run the minimap. So I'm going to kind of have to... Yeah, just just kind of guesstimate how wide this is. It isn't actually that wide at all, is it? But I guess that's what happens when you keep it real and you're, you're playing it realistically and slightly challenging. I mean, I would imagine some of these some of these sprayers you can get probably do this field in one go, wouldn't it? But at least, at least we're not getting field slip. Because although the narrow tyres won't damage the crop, I believe still slipping on the on the actual field will still cause damage. Yeah, so we're going to have to be careful where we turn. The advantage of this field is, actually, I can turn around the back here. Right, let's go. Okay, so two disadvantages. We didn't do bad though, we didn't do too bad at all, but this sprayer holds 303 litres of liquid. That isn't a lot. <laughs> that really isn't a lot. And yeah, secondly, I had to drive all the way back to the shop to top it back up again in something which only does, I mean it says 18, it does 19. We give it its due, it does do 19. But yeah, all this time I spent talking about needing a faster tractor, I've somehow ended up getting one that's slower. Yeah, it, it was the it was the old Ford that persuaded me, I guess, wasn't it? But good tractor. It does struggle a bit though. When you actually activate the sprayer, when you get that PTA running, it does struggle a little bit. Now, I'm not overly concerned this was the lowest horsepower engine, if I remember. So actually we just need to we just need to upgrade it. Yeah, which we can do. I'm pretty sure I've been saying that about every other piece of equipment we've had for a long time, but we can do it eventually, eventually. And still then, again, realistically, let's just struggle through. Things will take a bit longer than they should. Things will probably cost a little bit more than they should. We'll have to make some strange decisions, but it'll be all right, it'll be all right. Now I've been thinking actually, I really should get the trailer set up and transport as much manure down here as possible, shouldn't I? Because although those grapes and those olives do produce quite a bit, they, they are actually really good money makers. They could be even better if I just topped them up with seed and manure. So I really should do that. I really should do that. I like the pace of this series. I like it's a little bit slower. Uh, I like that it's maybe still a little bit different. I know there's lots of realistic type series around but this still has a, a very slight edge on it I would say and I like it I like that a lot but I do wanna I do wanna get to our end goal I wanna buy the farm the main farm which we know was like half a million and I want to start another series on another map keep it real too I I, I always forward plan things keep it real too is certainly something I've been thinking about for a little while so 
yeah, I, I want to do it. And all of my learnings from this series is going to make Series 2 even better and probably even more challenging. And uh, yeah, I guess you take some little snippets from other people doing similar series as well. Maybe I'll stay entirely in this view for Series 2. Maybe. don't know. I, I've got lots of things in my head, but for a minute... The goal is to get this series done, I guess, to get this, yeah, to get this main farm bought. It isn't going to be easy. It isn't going to be easy. Right, okay, we are good. Which is nice. Deactivate the PTO. The track just suddenly becomes powerful, which is amazing. Now, while we're here, the majority of the potato field is pretty good, actually. But the very bottom corner, if I remember, the last time I checked it through the uh, precision farming stats... The very bottom corner of this field wasn't particularly amazing. So, yeah, we're going to go over it. Maybe we just go over the whole field because precision farming will kind of help us out anyway with the right levels, wouldn't it? Which, although I, I love precision farming for how realistic it makes kind of some of the terminology, the use of the word nitrogen and pH levels, that's great. But in a way, it's almost, yeah... I don't have the equipment that would automatically tell how much nitrogen I need to put down on the ground. So in a way, precision farming is kind of saving me money. But anyway, right, we'll do this. I'm just monitoring the bottom corner there to see how quickly it's going down, which isn't too fast. And I'm assuming once I get to the top part here, it'll either turn off around now or it just won't use any. Yeah, I mean, 184, look. It looks like it's spraying it, but it is not using a single litre. So, yeah, that's the... Oh, there's a tree stump there I missed, look. That's the precision farming thing. It's starting to use a little bit now. But I guess, in a way, the good thing about potatoes is I can actually see where I'm going, unlike that wheat field. I can see where I'm going. I can see where I've been. I can see that nice dark texture. Yeah, look, as soon as, you, as soon as you activate that PTO, this tractor is is really, really struggling. You can do it. You can do it. I do wonder, actually, if the man would do a better job than this. I'm not going to lie. I shouldn't say it, and I'm going to keep using the Ford just because we spent money on it. But, yeah, the good old faithful man, actually, would probably have not struggled at all doing this. But it would have ripped up the ground. Definitely would have ripped up the ground with those. Well, those tyres will actually look thinner than the tyres on this, but the standard size tyres. Now, yeah, while we're here, let's just let that fold up. Leave the engine running. So we have got some more of these, which is great. Only 500 and something. 550 of pallets. So there's, about, so there's 2,000 litres there, I guess, between the two. But we could have doubled that production by putting in manure and seeds. I've got so much manure, but I mean it's borderline unlimited manure to be honest with you, just because of the the rate it's being produced and the fact that we we just aren't using it. Now this is 949. I just realised I haven't changed the time. I'm getting oh wrong button. I'm getting quite bad for doing that, aren't I? So back to times ten. Advantage of that as well is that it obviously produces these even faster, which is great, but it just keeps that kind of night and day cycle something like it should be. Now, we'll jump into here. We will use... In fact, no, I'm not. I was going to say, I'll use the pause menu and I'll have a look at precision farming. But really, there's so many little rules and little different things that I think of. It's hard to keep up with them all, but I'm pretty sure I should be going to the actual field to be getting the data. So actually looking at the field and telling me in the bottom corner rather than using the, the map. So let's make a very, very slow trip back to the grass field and we'll just sanity check that. I'm pretty sure, actually, that's going to be okay. Just because grass doesn't use a lot of nitrogen, does it really? But we will check it. We will check it. Now, for me, it'll probably be about 20 minutes. But for you, it's going to be, I don't know, 0.3 of a second. See you in a second. So the good news is, I guess... We've still got 176 litres, so really it only used 400, 450 litres of liquid fertiliser to do that field. 
So given this a 2000 litre IBC, we've got another three more goes at fertilising that field before we even need to think about buying more. Plus the fact that we'll start using the slurry next season, next year when we're, we're starting all over again. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. And I mean, we still got 3,331, which is unusual for this series. That's that's quite a lot, isn't it? That is quite a lot. Now, let's check here. So, yeah, so actually it says nitrogen is perfect. If you look at it on the precision farming, it's actually quite yellow. It's borderline orange in terms of color, but grass just doesn't need it. So that's great. So I've got to do nothing to this field at all. Just let it grow and just admire my absolutely shocking job at patching up the field i think i made it worse but yeah this will be good to go it is actually showing ready to harvest but this is not full stage is it i'm sure this is not no i'm looking for those kind of slightly brown tips although the texture on this map maybe is different it's confusing me a bit but yeah this isn't ready this needs this needs going into june i reckon then we can cut that up pop it into here it's not really needed as cow food, so that's going to be a good amount of profit at some point. I mean, I can't remember. What, what did we have last time? Did we have 50,000 litres out of this field? Am I am I over-exaggerating? Am I getting too carried away? It was a fair amount. I'm sure it was. And the fact that we got that windrow there is going to make it so much easier. Right, so I haven't got to do anything here. Okay. Okay. Let's... Um, head on back to the main yard now I kind of well got up this morning and walked straight to the shop so I didn't check on the cows cows should be absolutely fine though I didn't check on the ducks maybe the ducks might have needed a bit of food yeah so we got to do the the usual chores but we're doing them a bit later on in the day than what we would do normally but it's fine it's all good now this, I guess, this episode's me kind of getting back into the swing of it. It's been nearly two weeks now since I, I last released an episode of anything. Uh, another weekend went by with me missing the roleplay story mode. and it's, it's kind of, it's annoying. It's annoying for me because I want to be consistent. And, you know, I do enjoy doing this and I absolutely enjoy playing this game. But, yeah, I've got to, I've got to prioritise quite a lot of things. You've got to got to keep a lot of plates spinning and I guess the YouTube plate is one of the lower priorities at the minute at the minute what I will say is I think now I don't know I'm recording this episode on Wednesday morning I've got a day off I'm hoping maybe a very very small amount of editing but this will probably be a raw episode but I'm hoping I'll get this out this evening so you might be watching this Wednesday evening and I'm hoping I'll just just have a little bit more time today to do, I don't know, a couple more of these maybe, just so I've got a little bit of a backup. I'll try and maybe do one hour because it's been such a long time since I've done that. And it'll be a nice change for me now. It'll be a nice change away from, well, a Ford that barely does 10 miles per hour up a very, very small hill. But I do need to try and keep my Friday free to try and get a roleplay story episode. Now, I've been looking forward to doing this roleplay story episode, but also not looking forward to it, because it's going to require quite a bit of editing, I feel. But actually, this is going to be a good one. This will be a, a very... Like, like an like an old-school Rusi Series 2 cliffhanger, just to give you a little sneak peek. This is going to be a good one. And then I could get away with leaving it a week, but I don't want to. But yeah, it's about to get interesting, that series. Definitely. I've stretched it out to try and do farming as much as possible. But I think on that kind of series, the the EastEnders type feel works better, doesn't it? The drama. We all like a bit of drama. Now, just remind myself, right, I've parked the Union Mug up there. Let's just check in on these. Again, loads and loads of manure. And 174 litres. So we're... we're pretty far away from producing the tomatoes from that so that's fine now where are you going mr duck 728 liters of eggs which is good gets more and more every day they have still got food but they do need a top up hopefully the shovel's not going to play me up today 
come on. Yeah, that works. Good. I always forget. I forget how much food this will take. Quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Oh look, ducks just appeared from the pallet. Look at that. Magical duck. 12, oh dear. No, hang on a minute. Stop doing this right now. Oh, it's, it's putting seed everywhere. Can I get that through the fence? That was realistic, wasn't it? Look, through the fence. Wonderful. Right. <laughs> Good. Did I miss any more in here? I'll have to, I didn't realise it did that. You think it would just stop pouring, wouldn't you? Not not kind of overfill. I guess in a way that's realistic. <laughs> Overfills the the actual uh, trough rather than just stop automatically. Right, so they're pretty good. They're pretty good. The cows, again, I don't know if I actually checked them, did I? I can't remember. Short term memory. Um, 7,000 litres of food. They go through food quick though, don't they? They really do go through that food quick. Are we looking at the same? Five and a calf. Let's have a look, you know. I seem to remember saying, we're gonna be having some baby cows at some point. All right, all of those ducks are fully grown now, which is good. Reproduction, okay, that one there. Still two months though, in theory. Yeah, so it's not as soon as I think, but yeah, months since the last birth. Okay, that's the one. That's the... Okay. Yeah, so it is a little while. But all of a sudden, once those three give birth, we are going to... We are going to suddenly... Wow, that little grass field isn't going to cope with the amount that, that these cows eat. So, yeah, we need to think forward on that. Look at how much straw there is there, look. 23,000 litres. I don't have my glasses on. I had to kind of lean forward and look at that then. And so much slurry. So much slurry. Okay. Um, what have we got here now? Maybe I'll chuck a couple more silage bales in with the cows, which we can use the Ford for. That'll be its first kind of farm job. Um, what am I looking at here? Trailers. What? Where is the trailer? Where is the trailer? I didn't see it down at the other yard. Have we abandoned it somewhere? Oh, no, it's right there, isn't it? It's got the bales on it. Honestly, I'm losing the plot here. I'm losing the plot. Right, so actually, I should have picked up the manure spike down at the other yard, shouldn't I? Let's drop off the sprayer somewhere where it's gonna be dry. If we've got room, I don't know. I'm really going to have to think about what we're going to do very soon. We need some more barns. Yeah. Maybe when we get a big... Let's do it in this view, make it better. Maybe when we get a big payout at some point soon, hopefully, we need to certainly invest on storage. Oh, I tell you what, this Ford is... It is a bit of a nightmare, you know. It's old, uh, it's old gearbox ain't great. Undo that, there we go. Yeah, it struggles a bit with its gears. Right, let's go back to the main, or the secondary yard, and let's find out where I've left the manure spike, and then we'll give the cows a couple of bales, and maybe we need to unload that trailer. Because actually, there's not a great deal of kind of field maintenance to do now, so what I should probably do is just spend the rest of the episode maximizing the grapes and the olives. I mean, we can make so much money. So much money. Okay, that's that. The manure spike is on. So this works pretty well, really, for bales. Works pretty well for pallets, even. So we can cope with this at this yard for a minute or two. A bit of raise it. Make sure we don't take out the bridge. Right, so we'll take off a couple of bales, put them into the cows. Well, as many as they'll take, I guess. And then the rest of them we do kind of need to unload somewhere. Because I need that trailer. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it ain't looking too happy with it anyway, is it? Look at the state of it. <laughs> it's looking a bit overloaded. Right, let's have a look. That would do. Good. Now, no weight on the back, so I'll just do the one at the time. Yeah, it's struggling. With, oh, dear. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I should put a weight on. Okay. Right. We'll do that. There we go. Realistically, I guess I should have got out and taken the the actual wrapping off of it, the kind of shrink wrap, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't mean to catch that. Come on. Oh dear. Yeah, this is not realistic. Drop it down. There we go. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say, although this is pretty dodgy driving, I'm not damaging the tractor doing it. I'm just bouncing between my back tyres and a soft, squidgy silage bale. So yeah, at least I'm... Oh dear. At least I'm not causing the tractor any damage, in theory. There we go. Will they take more food? Let's have a look. Because we're in the vicinity, it's alright to check it on here. Yeah, I reckon they'll take another bale, won't they? Let's just make sure I've unwrapped them. Undo that one there. Oh dear. Well, that's why the trailer isn't looking great. They've obviously decided to kind of move themselves without me realising. Right, it's fine. We'll figure it out. It's quite tricky to do stuff in this view, isn't it? Good. Right, so this should be the cows done. Just need to decide where I'm going to put the rest of the bales. And I can't really leave them lying around like I do normally because we're going to need this space soon to start putting traders through here to get the manure out and to get the slurry. That's the big one. Um, I'm thinking that maybe, I mean, maybe just here. What else can I do? Or I put that trailer somewhere else. I could park the trailer there, actually. Okay, right. Let's do this, then. Let's just move the trailer. Get that connected up. Good. And we'll place it. Let's try and make sure I don't get stuck in the the bank with the spikes. Let's just try and place it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, so this this Ford is definitely not replacing the Agri. Certainly not. The Agri is still our number one. It's still our, tr our main tractor because this thing does struggle with a lot of basic stuff. But just adds a bit more characteristics and well, it gives us the option for the front loader, doesn't it? which I hope doesn't fail, because it's about to stab me. Uh, is that okay there? Uh, I can go back quite a bit, actually, can't it? Right, let's move that back a little bit. Well, forward then back, I should say. Well, that gives us a bit of space. For the silage bales, then we will take the trailer to the shop. We'll do it properly. We'll get it converted back. We'll get them to put the sides back on for us. Oh no, don't, no, 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 what, what, what's going on? Oh, man. It obviously doesn't have brakes on it, does it? <laughs> this, this is what happens when uh, I say I'm going to try and record the episode raw. <laughs> yeah. You get to see the little bloopers. I didn't expect that to be one of them, though. I'm not going to lie. Right. Come on. The problem with this is two at a time just isn't going to happen, is it? I'll try it. See if I can do it safely. Can I do it safe? Okay. It's not going to like it. Okay. 
Okay, no, I need to do it this way. Fine. Right, this won't take a moment. I'll probably jump you back in in a second. Oh dear. Come on. This might take much longer than I think. Okay, there we go, done. Professional, neat job, as you can tell. The problem with these manure forks, using them for anything other than actually manure, it kept on picking up a scoop full of manure every time I went to put one of the bales down. It's a bit annoying. That's why it's come out so far, because I just kept chucking it back down again. Anyway, right, I've, I've kind of moved the trailer again, and it rolled back down the hill once, and now it's just kind of stuck there. So when we get back, that will probably be somewhere else, but it's fine. And then I've got this trailer here loaded up, ready to go. So we're going to head to the shop, get them to pop the sides back on it. I cannot remember the capacity either. Maybe we invest a bit more money and increase the capacity because, yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is a slow drive back down to the bottom yard in this with this manure. Although I suppose actually, do let, let's let's utilise the Unimog a bit more, shall we? Maybe I'll use the Ford to fill the trailer with manure, but use the Unimog to actually take the trailer down there. Because I'm, I'm not going to need a manure spike to take it back out again, am I? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll go via the shop and buy a few bags of seed as well. That would be good. That would be really good. Right, anyway. Now that I'm saying it, now that I'm saying this to myself, I'm thinking, why didn't I just use the Unimog to do this bit? There you go. I'm here now. I'm already on the way. It's too late. Right, here we are at the shop. About there. About there. Okay, great demand at the pizzeria. I doubt we've got anything that they're going to want. Um, oh, I do this every time. Where's the trigger? <laughs> the trigger is right where I've parked, I bet. It's been such a long time since I played this map, I cannot remember where the trigger is. I cannot even remember how to turn it on. There you go. Oh, it's actually there. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of the zone. I'm out of the zone. I can't remember. Turn that back off again. So, this here, we need to customise it. And I'm pretty sure it ain't going to charge us. Right, extension gives us 12 over 8. That might be... For, ooh, that gives us even more. Okay, and that isn't actually that much more than what the other extension costs, is it? £300 more. And I assume I can still transport anything with that, can I? Oh, hang on a minute, and that's even cheaper. To be honest, I don't know why it changed to the blue version anyway. Right, what does the design do? Nothing. Right, let's do customize that to that. Amazing. Look, 15,000. Good. Oh, it's huge now. It's massive. Good. That's amazing because we'll need that. I mean, maybe I'm being hopeful, but hopefully we'll need that to do to do the grain fields. Maybe I won't get that much. What am I doing? I nearly drove off. Right, so last time I tried a bit of a different technique, so I wonder if this will work. Um, don't I want to throw it? I can't even throw it. Let's try again. Okay, for some reason, it's not even letting me throw it today. Oh, what is happening? Come on. No. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Well, I could do it like that, maybe. That's not really bowling, though, is it? Ready? Go on. Just, just get one. Just not one. Yeah, that doesn't work. Am 
after that bowling fail, let's go on with some real work. Now, again, not too fast. This feels very top heavy with this trailer on. Feels a little bit all over the place. Now, let's think about this. I need to go up the hill and down because I ain't going to be able to put a full trailer back down or back up the hill, I should say. So let's think about this wisely. Now, there must be another field on bidding. I've just seen a random name come up in the top corner there. Don't know what field that is. Not even worried about that. This trailer is some bouncing. Let's look at it. Alright. Where can we put this where it's not quite in the way? But also easy to get to. I reckon. Uh, there isn't an easy place to put it, is there, really? They will do. I'll have to make do with it. I'm trying to leave myself enough clearance to get the Unimog down here. Right, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Now, I've just sanity checked the time. But we're looking at a good kind of 35 minutes, I think, now. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if in this episode I will actually take this down to the grapes or whether that's just kind of the first task of the next episode, which I will probably record straight away, by the way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do it straight after this anyway. But, yeah, I don't want this episode to be too long. And actually a tiny little bit shorter than the normal time would mean more episodes in theory. Now this... This only just, only just lifts it high enough. In fact, is it high enough? I'm going to go into this for you and cheat a bit. Yeah, it's high enough, just about. I see how there's like chains and all in there holding it together there. That is pretty cool, isn't it? And that would be because it's wooden, I guess, not metal. Good. Right. I had some issues trying to get silage into this trailer. I bet the manure, no problems. Good. Amazing. I just wanted to check that. Yeah, when I was trying to load the silage into it, I remember it was a bit of a pain. Now, I am going to go and get the weight, which I'm sure is over here. Hopefully it's not full of water, because when it is full of water, it's, it's a bit too much, if I remember. Also, let's leave that engine running. Of course, there is something in the way, which is just how it works, isn't it? It's just, just what I do. Can't make things too easy. Now, have I left enough room? I parked that roller in the most ridiculous place I could have possibly thought of. Now, I might, if I'm lucky, get... <laughs> yeah, the fertiliser spread it in the gap. I ain't getting these big, fat tyres through that gap, though, am I? No way, I'm already hitting things. Right, lower that down. Do you know what actually that would do? I'll just leave that there. I need to do something here. I need to do something. Yep. Now, I've got loads of space at the bottom field, the kind of where the, the, the vineyards and where the olive tree is. But that's completely useless, isn't it? That's not where we're storing equipment. I need to think of a better way of doing something up here. Maybe I need to rethink my layouts a little bit. Yeah, I need to do something. I need to do something. I mean, do you think it would be possible? Maybe. Maybe we could build over here. What do you reckon? Realistically? I mean, that would re require flattening the ground up, which would be extra cost, which is fine. That's part of the challenge. But realistically, would you want to build right at the bottom of where kind of a, a natural... I mean, I don't call it a stream. It's just kind of a, an overflow. Maybe it's an overflow from the factory or something. Would you really want to build there? Would, would you be liable for flooding? Maybe we can just build another shed here. Yeah, I mean, that would, that would kind of work, you know. That's a big, open, wasted space. That would work. Let me know what you think. I don't know. I like to try and keep things realistic, as you know. I don't know if in real life, 
anyone would want to build at the bottom there. I'm not sure. Right, this feels better. I know there's no water in it, which is good. When it has water in it, this weight is very, very heavy. Probably be too much for this Ford. Right, I might actually have approached it at a better angle this time. Right, let's just get this topped up. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. We'll soon find out. I might pop it in the other view and maybe time lapse it. I'm not sure. Okay, I think this is either already full or this will be the last one. So we'll have a look in a minute. Now, it's taken quite a while, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, obviously it's got a 15,000 capacity and it's a thousand per scoop. So I've just had to do it 15 times. Oh dear. Do you know, I've done it perfect. The second I start talking, I nearly flip the trailer. <laughs> flip the trailer for the manure. That wouldn't have been very good. Visibility inside of this Ford it isn't great is it okay must be empty by now I don't know maybe maybe it will take one more I don't know I probably should have counted yeah that probably that would have been a better option mind you I mean counting to 15 that's a challenge isn't it really um we're not wanting to pick any more up then no good there we go Right, will this do it? Will this do it? Oh dear. Two mistakes in a row here. It is. I'm blaming it on the YouTube brain. Right. Let's tip that in. Hopefully not gone in too far. 32 litres will not come off. Okay, so... Interesting. 1,000 at a time. 15... 15,000 litre and somehow I've ended up with 32 litres of manure. Unusual. Right, now we're going to dump that there. Leave it in there. Oh, I don't know if I left myself enough room though. Well, that should be a nice looking, yeah, nice looking full trailer of manure. 15,000 litres suddenly doesn't look like we had as much as I thought. No, maybe we'll put half of that in each of the olives, uh, in each of the vineyards, sorry, to get some grapes. Because I do think the olive tree's got a little bit of kind of solid fertilizer. I think I put the remainder in there, didn't I? Right, let's just try and pull this forward a little bit. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump the spike there. It's funny how the um, little cursor thing's are there now all of a sudden. I wonder why that is, look. The little round circle has appeared. It does that a few times on and off. Don't know if it's the map. Mod conflict, no doubt. Right. Let's try and get it into here without damaging our water barrels. That will probably do a better job. Okay. Yeah, so that's in there, out of the way. Whilst we figure out what we're going to do. I could even maybe utilise that little space in the corner. Put a little shed there. Oh, I don't know. I need to do something to get some more space though. Part of me thinks about buying. Maybe I should uh, focus on. Let's jump into this menu a minute. Maybe I should focus on 
buying this plot of land next to the shop. Where is it? Which one is it? This one. It's a bigger plot of land, isn't it? Mind you, that's also a lot of money. But it's, well, it's 85% plus, so the owner of that is pretty damn greedy. That is for sure. But yeah, there's a lot of spare land in there. And it comes with a massive greenhouse built in. And then maybe at the main yard here, I could remove this greenhouse and put a nice big shed there. Lots of options, but the dilemma is still there. We might be making a little bit more money, but we've still got those big life decisions to make. Let me know. If you're happy to comment, comment. But let me know what you think. Can I build something along here? I mean, I could potentially flatten the road out, get rid of the bridge, build another shed there, which would probably be perfect. That would resolve all of our problems. And, yeah, don't know. Maybe the stream overflow just ends here. Maybe we divert it. Maybe I pay the money to divert the stream, dig it out a little bit and run it down the middle and run it down under here instead. Because it kind of just goes to flat land there. It doesn't go anywhere. It just obviously builds up here. Maybe that's the solution. Maybe I pay the money and I dig out a channel here instead. Which I could do with my uh, slightly better than average landscaping skills, I'm sure. And then that'll give it, yeah. Do you know, I think that's what we need to do. That is what we need to do. Right, okay. So, I just need to make the money. Somehow, I need to make the money. Maybe the grapes and the olives with this will be the solution. And yeah, I don't know, well, three, four episodes time, we might start harvesting. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Well, thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, again, apologies, it's been a little while. But I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Number 56, I think I said it was. I'm probably going to go straight into recording 57 now. So hopefully you won't have to wait so long. Certainly not a week and a half, nearly two weeks anyway. So thanks for watching. As always, I really, really appreciate it. On the road to 2,000 subs now. On the road to 2,000 subs. So I need to keep at it. Come on, Rusi, sort yourself out, man. You, you've got to be more, more consistent. You've got to be more reliable. You're all over the place, man. See you soon. Cheers and gone.